Yeah, good morning. Here we sit in the sun. It's a little cool this morning. But we're um, nice and warm in the sun here, as we usually are. Bugs are a little worse today than they were yesterday, it seems like. But that's what you do. That's what you get when you're down here sometimes. Not always. A lot of times we come down here in the winter and it's not it's not buggy at all. But unfortunately, uh, it's kind of buggy today. You kind of see them buzzing around Karen over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a crap load of them. Anyway, I'm not complaining. Wouldn't complain about a place like this. It's beautiful. So today, packing up, moving, moving to a new spot. <clears throat> See you soon. Okay, on the road. It's uh, 10 o'clock. We don't have very far to go, so it's uh, we weren't in a huge hurry this morning. When we leave this valley, though, we're going to be in a little bit bigger hurry, I think, to get out of here. Hopefully we get out of here earlier because the road's rough. And I, I'm not the guy that drives on really fast. I don't narrow down the tires, although I got to get a decent compressor so I can do that. But I uh, don't narrow down the tires. And uh, so we just go slow over the bumps and enjoy the ride. That's my whole thing is enjoying this ride. I've always done that on this road on these roads out here. Just go slow and then enjoy the view. When you're in a big hurry to get somewhere, that's when you break stuff, pop tires, do things that you don't want to do. So anyway, so off we go. I saw this on the map. There's a structure out here so we decided to come out here and check it out. It's um off the Saline Valley Road. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's pretty well broke down. There's also a artesian well out here somewhere. You can tell by the mesquites growing pretty heavy here. There's got to be water. Somebody tried to be. Somebody tried to make a homestead out here. Let's get out and check it out. Well, it used to be a well, it used to be a little homestead, I guess. There's a little stove. Whoa! Now that's looking interesting. Ooh, this is kind of rickety. Uh, there's wow, there's like stairs, isn't it? Somebody's using this for a dump. Here's a, this is a downstairs to this place. A downstairs? Yeah, we go oh, down there. Not really. Is there anything down there? Bunch of junk. People have been throwing garbage in here. A motorcycle tire. This place. Weird deal. Looks like it might be a. I don't know what that is. Anyway, there's an old toolbox. It looks like a. Almost looks like an air bottle from SCBA unit. Interesting. It's a shame to see all the garbage in here, but it's still pretty interesting. Let's see here. This is kind of interesting. It's an old, looks like an old milk, uh, uh, milk truck or something. 
they were using it for something out here. Kind of the mesquite's kind of taken over it. Kind of buried in there. Got a bunch of graffiti on the side. Something over here we're gonna go look at. This is where we just were. That's Beverage Canyon up there. Here's an old bed. No, there's no mines down out here in the valley. I don't know well, what this is. That, look at the, this might be a mining related, but water tank. And no, oh, this maybe this is the thing the water tank sat on. There's something else over here. This almost looks like an old washing machine, but I don't, I don't know, maybe. It's a washing machine, I've never seen one like it before. This looks like some sort of workshop. Hmm. Interesting. We had power here. Well, here's another little. Oh, this is the tire room. Boy, we need any spare tires. Here we go. Wow. Tires and rims and all kinds of stuff in here. Some of these tires look like they're oh, in pretty good shape. Nice Water pumps. Wow. Wowzy dowsy. There's some uh, BF Goodrich. Oh. General tire. Hmm. There used to be a light right here. Yeah, this is weird. Motorcycle tire. Looks I'll like trailer that. tires. Look at this. These are mounted and they've got air on them and everything. Tire chains. Oh, we need some chains. <laughs> yep. Wow, that Pretty really interesting stuff. Peaks here. Well, the map shows an artesian well out here and we were just kind of wandering around here looking to see if we could see it. This, this big pipe looked like it could be the could be a well, but I don't know. Something. Kind of a curious thing out here. Oh, wow. I have no idea what this is. You can see where we're parked over there. Over there. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. With garbage in it. Concrete around it. That's an interesting thing. That looks like a rack off of something. There's a couple of jerry can uh, holders. One on each side. Those are jerry cans. A little rubber bungee. That's not very old. Yeah, this is curious. Yeah. Yeah. So fed a few people. And up there on the hill, you can see the zigzag, the road that goes and zigzags up the hill. 
it zigzags across and then back that way. I think it goes up into beverage, as I recall. But it's not drivable anywhere, I'm sure. Well, that was an interesting little stop, wasn't it, huh? Wasn't it, babe? Oh, yeah, exactly. I thought you were talking to your audience. I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah that was i loved the potential for that house i think it was probably really beautiful when it was used you know whatever it was hard to say what this was used for out here but it's an interesting stop Anybody that knows about this road knows this spot. Got some new stuff up there. Somebody's license plate too, huh? That's pretty much a, an ego thing, huh? Yeah, I guess so. sit in our new home for a few days we've got some palm trees over here and a whole lot of people not exactly what we like but it'll do so we're kind of well here comes the jet oh show it pretty cool wasn't ready for that one waiting for another one they can sometimes they come in pairs that guy was low they like to swoop through here and look because uh, there's people that don't wear all their clothes so that's one of the things they the air guys seem to like about this place anyway so here we are we're gonna enjoy the next few days and with the noise that we get from the jets I guess well we just got back from my favorite shower in the world unlimited amount of water in that hot in that uh, shower anyway it was wonderful we went and took showers and one thing about this place is it's uh, probably the cleanest camping you would ever do. Because if you're not constantly clean, there's something wrong. Anyway, this beer is really tasting good right now. It's a pretty hot day. Actually, my thermometer said 83. Uh, much warmer out in the sun, but we're in the shade right here. We got it made in the shade. Right, babe? Yep. yep. Made in the shade. <laughs> so we're going to sit in here and excuse me we're gonna sit in here and relax soak in the ambiance unfortunately with all these rvs these cab over campers in here that's and they're all yeah. camped over here right by the place where we wanted to go right over here by those trees the showers back over there so that's what it is when you come here you got to be willing to share it with everybody so and we do it's all good well, 
that's low. What is that plane doing? I don't know what he's doing, but whatever it is. I'm hoping it he's not. It looks kind of gray, like it was the one that was at the chicken strip. It could be. He really came in low. I got him on the video. Something I forgot to mention earlier, this is the equinox today. First day of spring. And I spent the first day of spring out here before. Years ago I was out here with my friend Chris and we sat out here and uh, in a terrible windstorm as a matter of fact. <laughs> Okay, Chris, where are we at? Here we are in wonderful Saline Valley. It's a little bit windy today on this March 21st, the equinox. <laughs> and it was the uh, first day of spring. So, I just forgot to say that earlier. What a great place to spend the equinox, huh? This is the area we uh, used to like to camp. There was a guy here earlier, but he's gone now. But we're not going to move our camp up here. But this is this is where I wanted to go when we came up here. It's fairly close to those trees right there. But I don't know about this thing. I wouldn't be too keen on this. That would not be something I would put a fire in. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, this is a place that I used to go. I used to camp here. Karen and I have camped here before, right here. And then there's there used to be places out there that you could go out, but you can't get out there anymore because uh, there's a wash and kind of blocked it off, kind of closed off that area. Anyway, this is a this is a little trail here that goes right down to the shower, which is. My favorite shower in the world.